Hi everyone, it's Coot here, sending you love wherever you are. As we enter into 2015, I want to begin by talking about money. Money, 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 money. You know, that word money can evoke so many different things for so many different people, means so many different things to so many different people. We're going to talk about, in 2015, how to get truly rich and make lots of money, maybe more money than you ever made in your entire life in one year. Are you ready? <laughs> so how do you get truly rich and make more money than you've made in a year in 2015? First, you have to commit to it. But you know, firstly, it's important to understand that money is energy. And I see so many people trying to make money, trying to hustle, working harder, working harder, working on everything outside of themselves, the business, the job, the, the, the business plan, all these technicalities outside, making more phone calls. But if external reality is, a, if external experience is a reflection of your inner reality, you can change everything you want out here, but if you don't change what's in here and how you're feeling in here and what's going on in your gut inside of yourself, what you will manifest in the, in the area of money, money being a manifestation of something else, will still be lack. And if you are trying to chase money, if you are trying to chase money out of fear, out of desperation, all you will do is push money away energetically and create more things in your life to be afraid and desperate about because money is energy. So if you want to make more money this year, if you want to make more money in 2015, I invite you to stop chasing money. That's right, stop chasing money. Chasing money only pushes it away because it simply affirms that you are lacking it. It simply affirms that you don't have it. It simply keeps you in a state of lack and not having it because I don't have it. I have to go and make it, which then tends to energetically keep you in a disempowered state, which pushes it away. One of my favorite authors would often talk about this concept, the trick to money is having some, having some, having some. Because when you come from that place, it shifts your vibration, it shifts your energy, and money is energy. Money is simply an exchange of energy. So what is money anyway, this piece of paper that we chase so much? What is it that we want from this thing? It's, it's really, if you look at money, it has no intrinsic value in and of itself. It's just a piece of paper with numbers on it and faint, uh, faces painted on it. Doesn't really mean anything, but collectively we have made an agreement that this piece of paper means 100, means 1,000, means 5,000, 5 million, 50 million, you know, I mean, if I go to Bali, when I do these journeys to Bali, Indonesia, and I, and I, and I exchange, you know, 1,000 US dollars, I get all of a sudden like 10 million, you know, Indonesian rupees, I'm like I'm a 10 millionaire. What does that mean, 10 million rupees, you know? For a thousand dollars, it's see, money is an agreement, and we have made an agreement collectively that it means something, so it has value. It then has value. So, my invitation is that you understand that money is energy, it doesn't actually mean anything, but in and of itself, other than the energy and the power that you give it, the energy and the power that you give it me gives it meaning and currency and power. So, that being said, I see so many people trying to make money by chasing money and taking action and working harder in the world. But the trick, I believe, is to not simply work harder from a place of lack. Many folks trying to, you know, I see so many people make, trying to make money because they think if I can make money, then I'll be free. If I can make money, then I'll be confident. If I can make money, then I'll have value. I will be worth something. Like this piece of paper, this currency is going to determine your worth. No amount of money you make is going to make you feel rich. Feeling rich is being connected to the source of your being, the source of your being, which is the source of 
abundance which is infinite when you are connected to your true nature beyond your ego structure beyond your identity when you're connected to who you really are you are truly rich because you realize there is an infinite reservoir of joy abundance creativity trillions of cells happening universes happening inside of you that is a limitless resource it's limitless what is inside of you and who you are is limitless this is to be truly rich to enjoy who you are to love who you are to be grateful and joyful for who you are and all that you do have in your life huh. This is the key. So rather than chasing money out here, it's important that you realize that you actually get to shift your relationship with money, cultivate gratitude, and raise your vibration and raise how you actually feel about yourself first. Rather than trying to get money to feel better about yourself, first raise how you feel about yourself. And when you realize that you are worthy already, you are enough already, you are abundant already, you are truly valuable as a soul. There is no, I mean, how much is your soul worth? What's the price on your soul? How much should we pay for your soul if someone came to you and said, give me your soul? I mean, some people do sell their soul, unfortunately, but you know, even when you sell your soul and you have millions in the bank, that will not make you truly happy when you truly know the worth of who you are. That is priceless. No matter what your parents said, your mother said, your father said, you are enough, you are valuable, just who you are. Are and you raise your worth, your self-esteem, you raise your value, you love that inner child and you, you raise your value, you own your value, knowing it's priceless. And as you feel even better about yourself, raising your energy, then so step out of the, of the matrix, step out of the marketplace for a moment, raise your value, raise who you are, raise your energetic frequency, then you step back into the world and offer your gift, offer your service, offer your dharma, offer your creativity from a place of knowing that what you are is infinite but you might charge for it as an energetic exchange for the moment but that doesn't determine who you are 100, 200, 500, 10,000 it's just numbers, it's just a way of exchanging energy but not a way of defining your value so when you are able to step outside of the TikTok reality, raise your vibration, at this height of vibration, step back into the world and then charge, offer your service, and as an exchange for your service, there's an exchange of money, a currency, an exchange of energy. So money is simply a byproduct of number one, how you feel about yourself and that energy within yourself. And many times people are chasing money, but really money is a byproduct of the value that you add in the marketplace. So rather than chasing money, ask yourself this year, how can I add value? How can I add value? How can I look at, if you look at the problems that are in the world, the so-called problems, you know, that are really opportunities. If you're an entrepreneur, you see a problem as an opportunity. If you look at where are the so-called problems in the world and what problems this year can you commit to solving, that will actually have value for those in your community and in your life. Because if you're able to solve a problem for someone in your life consistently and do it well, if you're able to solve a problem for your community, for attorneys, for lawyers, for, for artists, for those in your life, and you're able to, that will have value for them. And if it has value for them, it will free them up to give more of their gifts, which will help them hopefully make more money, which will then create more abundance, which will then make it worthwhile to pay you for. I see so many people not really adding value, what they think is value, but not like real value. So ask yourself, where, where are their problems? Because where there's a problem, there's a need. Where there's a need, there's the potential to add value. And where you can add value, there's the opportunity to make money and be compensated in an energetic exchange for you giving your gift. Don't chase money. Money is a byproduct. Add value. And to me, this is what it is to be of service. Because when you are of true service, as you share your energy with the world, the money may not always come back to you from where you wanted it to come back to you. The money may not always come back to you from the person you gave value to. The money may, may not always come back to you from where you extended energy, but just know, rest assured, that when you add value, 
See, this is the key, adding value. I see so many folks today going for a handout. Don't ask for an, a handout, look for where can I add value? Because consistently where you are adding value, you will make money because you're solving a problem. And when you are being of service, then no matter what happens in that moment, you are giving, you are sharing, you are putting energy out. Know that you cannot cheat the universe. It will come back to you in the, in, either from that person or the energy will come back to you from wherever is most aligned in the universe for your highest destiny and evolution. Raise your energy, solve a problem, add value, be of service. Then no matter what happens, you are truly, truly rich inside of yourself and the money will simply be a manifestation of the value you are adding in the world and then you are free. Not free because you have or don't have, but free because you are sharing your gift and loving fully. This is to be rich, this is to be abundant, to celebrate each moment of life. Hope you enjoyed this blog. I invite you to subscribe. You'll receive amazing videos and inspiration from me on a regular basis. You can subscribe to my blog. Sending you love wherever you are. Love now.